Welcome back to the course Learn Blockchain. Today we will be learning about transactions and UTXOs of the blockchain. This is a very interesting concept. Header transaction is different from normal transaction. Actually, it is a whole new world which we are going to uncover everything in this video. So let's get started. Let's look at an example. A send me 0.1 Bitcoin, B send me 0.3 Bitcoin, C send me 0.6 Bitcoin and D send me 0.7 Bitcoin. All of those are different transactions that happen in the Bitcoin blockchain. All are related with me receiving Bitcoin. So what those would be called in Bitcoin world are UTXOs which stand for Unspent Transaction Output. This is where things start to get very different to the world of banking that we are so used to. In banking, once you send the transaction, that's it. Transaction is done and it is recorded somewhere. But in Bitcoin, the transaction lives on after it has been executed until another transaction builds off of the UTXOs of that transaction. I guess this goes off your mind. Don't worry, we will learn by example. Suppose I want to buy a bike for 0.5 Bitcoin. Now how do the transaction happen? This is what we are gonna see. Since I need 0.5 Bitcoin, I will choose this 0.6 Bitcoin from C as input. And as output, I will send 0.5 Bitcoin to bike shop. There is a rule that there cannot be any unused output. So anything that goes into input, the full amount must be spent. Basically there cannot be no change. You cannot just go in and alright I have 0.6 Bitcoin and I am sending 0.5 Bitcoin. You have to send all the 0.6 Bitcoin. But you can send it to different participants. So what you do is, you send 0.1 Bitcoin back to myself. So overall what you need to do is, you have to build an input, it can include multiple transactions from UTXOs depending on the need, then you have to send whole amount from the input as output, if there is extra you can send back to yourself. So this 0.6 Bitcoin from C is no longer on spin, and so it is removed from UTXO. And we got two new UTXO, this 0.5 Bitcoin for the bike shop and this 0.1 Bitcoin for me. So I get the bike and here this 0.1 Bitcoin from me to me is added to the ETXOs. So this is what transaction and ETXO is all about. Let's see another example. Suppose I want to buy a bike for 1.1 Bitcoin. I need at least 1.1 Bitcoin in input so I select this transaction 0.3, 0.7 and 0.1. Then on output 1.1 Bitcoin will be sent to the bike shop. And since there is nothing additional amount, we do not need another transaction. So this transaction will be removed from the UTXOs and on the other hand for the bike shop it will have UTXO of 1.1 Bitcoin from me to bike shop. And so I get the bike. Now I will have only one UTXO left, 0.1 Bitcoin and this is considered as my balance. So the balance you see on your wallet is all UTXOs. So this is all about transaction and UTXOs. I hope you have understood it. And on this note, I will see you in the next video.